Hi all, this is Dirk Koenig from Canoe, and in this episode I'd like to introduce you to the concept of team applications with OpenDolphin. Team applications can be used in various ways. One is um, getting a better connection to your customer, uh, working directly together with your, with your customer in, in a team, working together with an expert or working together with your peers or working together with the back office. And we will see examples of all of this. Let's start with uh, collaboration with your customer. Assume um, you would like to staff a project and um, you start with having your people available in uh, your team members available and make a suggestion for possible staffing of the project. This is a JavaFX application that runs against the server in, in Basel, Switzerland, and I'm connecting from Zurich, so that is like 100 kilometers away. And this runs on your machine, that's your desktop. Your client uh, may be in the, in the very same room and you can chat or you can even be connected remotely, but he doesn't have the same application. What he has is possibly an iPad or some, any kind of tablet. This comes in like so. And he connects to the very same application. Now you could, for example, say, well, here is uh, Dirk Koenig, that would be one suggestion for the project. He should get the role of uh, an engineer, maybe. And he is available, and he would, uh, be, available, would be have a workload of 100%. This is it. And your customer on the other side sees at in real time the exact same change and he may say, well, this is okay, let's save it. Clicking on the save, oh, sorry, I cannot click on the save. I have to do it live on my, um, on my iPad over here. So I'm for, on the iPad, I'm clicking on save now, save. You see it's being saved over here and you see it saved here because it's no longer dirty and you cannot save or reset anymore. Now on his side, by tapping on the iPad, he may select uh, the next one and say, well, for this one, I would like to have it as uh, the architect. I'm selecting architect here and um, make it available. Yes, uh, this would be possibly be a contractor. So select the, the contractor thing and workload for this project would be, I'm, I'm using my index finger here to, to change the value to, let's say, 60% uh, or a little bit, maybe a little bit more. Let's make it 70. Then on your side over here, you see also see the change immediately while your customer tracked over here. You say, oh, well, um, he isn't available for like 70%, only for like, I don't know, like this one over here. Hmm? All the values updated automatically. And uh, by the way, he's not a contractor. And you see contractor falls over here. Uh, it's all at the same time. And so you say this would be okay for me. So you click save. Okay, all saved. And uh, well, on the client side, your customer may say, well, I'm clicking on the plus icon now over here, the plus on the iPad creating a new one, giving it, you know what, I myself, I I would like to be part of the project as well. First name XXX, last name YYY. Please observe that, oh yeah, you cannot observe it. <laughs> I um, select this over here. You can observe that, that um, while the customer is entering data, this becomes immediately available on the client side over here, even though this is 100 kilometers away. I will not now type the last name on the on the iPad, pop, 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 and you see it immediately appearing everywhere. This is kind of phenomenal speed, and um, this is pretty cool. Uh, and he is probably he would take the administrator role, your customer could be. Give it a different, and then on your side, well, you say, well, uh, you should have at least some workload, maybe. You should be engaged like 10% or 20% or so. 
and, uh, and this is all fine. And yes, you should be available as well. No, he's not available, he's not a contractor. But uh, by the way, he, this one was a contractor and all the values update immediately. This has become dirty and uh, everybody sees the whole state of the thing immediately. This is a totally new way of um, having your customer being part of the discussion, not only being faced with the facts uh, after the decision or having longer negotiations, but everybody can work on the same application model at the same time, seeing instantly every change that everybody else is doing and hopefully coming to better agreements in as part of the negotiation. You can very easily imagine other use cases as well. This has been some staffing, but you can imagine this is some kind of, you know, his customer would like to order so many items and how much of each item and to for what price and um, maybe having a financial portfolio being balanced and so on. So you can work directly with your customer on the very same application um, and everybody sees the change from everybody else since you're working as a team. That is some kind of new application that you have here. Now comes the second point, and that is uh, working with an expert. Let's move that away. Uh, yep, close it. You can actually yeah, close this as well. Here you see two applications. It's also JavaFX applications that run on uh, various machines. Could be totally different machines, totally different machines in uh, distributed over the planet. And uh, the setting is that you're a um, stock market trader and you see items from the stock market. Wherever there's a red, there's a new value. And uh, one of these two traders is an expert and he may want to give you uh, advice in where you should pay attention to what stock is currently hot for buying and for uh, or for maybe uh, selling. So he just selects one, Alcoa for example, and as soon as he selects it, you see this reaction on the other side as well, on your machine, for example. And he says, no, this one is really interesting. And you see it updated over there as well. Same goes the other way around. If some other experts saying, well, you should pay attention to uh, Kodak, you select it and you see the selection directly down below here. This is the kind of setting that you have when, uh, when there's an uneven relationship and one is the expert and would like to point you to a certain kind of information or you may ask for help or for ask for directions or whatever. This is kind of a financial application, but you can very easily imagine this in a setting where you have um, like medical advice or uh, some kind of buying advice or what, all, all kinds of advice where you have an expert and you'd like to share um, your information, share the application really. They are both working on the same application. Not only can you share information with an expert or share an application with your expert, you can also uh, work together with your peers, which is maybe the most typical setting for, uh, for a team application. <clears throat> In the end, all the team applications have some flavor of a chat, if you want to. A chat is a typical team application of peers. So here is the um, the web client for chatter. You can go to Klondike and Newcomb Dolphin Grails and live connect to the uh, to the chatter application. And it works like so that when you connect, you can identify yourself as let's say uh, Dirk on web, and uh, you'll see that instantly the the respective entry is updating over here. Say uh, I am here, and some other client may also uh, connect over the web, or he may connect with a JavaFX application from his desktop, and this comes from here. So here is your JavaFX application. You see, Dirk on web, I am here, and here is the one that um, that we are now here, uh, Dirk on JavaFX. You may notice that while I type, uh, I see my changes exactly as my colleague is, is seeing them over here. So while I am typing, 
you may want to look over here while I'm typing. So while I am typing, you see the change. And this is so incredibly fast that you may ask yourself what kind of technology that is. And no, it is not WebSockets or Comet or Hazelcast or whatever. It is plain old HTTP that every server understands. And, uh, and still, you can go over here and, and please observe the I am here, which the, of which the uh, JavaFX client is seeing. I am here and also type. Well, while I'm typing here, it, it appears here instantly, even though this goes over the web uh, 100 kilometers back and forth. This uh, kind of speed is really phenomenal. And it comes not from technology, it comes from architecture. The Open Dolphin architecture makes that possible. What we see here is a combination of features. You see the multi-device feature. This is web and this is JavaFX uh, on the desktop. We see the instant update inside the application and across uh, multiple clients. And we see the push feature. Right? This, there is an instant push inside Open Dolphin. But we are not yet at the end. There are many more use cases and probably more than I can envision at the moment. But another one which is really interesting is not only working together with your peers and automatically um, helping yourself out, correcting errors and so on, but also working together with your back office. So you may remember the, uh, the team staffing application that we have seen. It's still in the very same state where we left it. And um, well, you may work to work currently on, on that one or work through the iPad or work on the web or wherever. And in the back office, your, your back office staff may uh, connect to the very same application, maybe over the web. Like so, go over here team members, master details, seeing the exact same informational. Yeah, I can leave that like so. And um, while you made these entries, by like XBXX and yay, or you and your customer, the back office may have the information, well, this has been kind of a shorthand because the first name was currently not known or something. So this should then be uh, Eric and uh, and you see the instant updates and uh, yep just so the the back office can can help you out where you don't have the information and they can silently connect to, to the very same application and uh, while you're at it giving you um, updated information they can just look things up in, the, in whatever they have available as resources or whatever they have as knowledge. One question that always comes up with these kind of team applications is the question of how to deal with possible conflicts. Aren't there more conflicts when we work on the same programming model? And uh, the opposite is true. There are actually there's less duplicated work and there's less, less conflicts and therefore there is less rework. For ex and you can see this in this very application. For example, um, I'm working on uh, Eric, let's say, whereas the back office works on uh, Elsa, right? And they may change the name for some reason. And over here, I immediately see that this is a dirty value. Somebody's working over here. So it may be that uh, I then take my hands off and do not touch it because I know somebody else is working on it. Or I must offer, I may want to offer my help and say, well, you know what, this one's wrong. And just to avoid conflict, I immediately make that change back for you. This is the, the new real name and uh, helping each other out, avoiding rework and avoiding conflict when I later change the same value. But uh, it is even it's more conventional that people work on different parts of the domain model 
and uh, step out of their way because they know that somebody else is working somebody else so, and um, and this is really a big benefit over the kind of uh, blind flying applications that we have today most of the time so uh, thanks a lot for watching i hope you are interested in getting team applications running and uh, trying to use open Dolphin for that bye